This is your boy, Bill Eshkababa. And today I have some sad news. If you haven't heard, uh, the president of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, has died. He passed away from a, a growth that killed him. Aged only 55. This is a sad day. Um, many people might not have agreed with what he was doing with Nintendo. I also was a bit critical of him. But it's sad to see a person die. It's uh, never happy. It does come to all of us. We all are eventually going to die. And it's just a sad day for the Nintendo community and the company as a whole. Uh, my condolences go as out to Mr. Iwata's family and all the workers and all the people who knew him personally. Um, it's just a very sad day. He he did a lot of stuff for Nintendo. He joined as a HAL Laboratories uh, as a full-time capacity. Um, he helped on games uh, like Earthbound, Balloon Fight, and Kirby. Of course, Kirby. Um, he helped uh, program Pokemon Stadium. He helped with the N64. Um, he took over when uh, uh, when the old president, uh, Yamanuchi, uh, died, um, retired, um, who also died last year, aged, of course, 85. But it's just a sad day. He, of course, helped bring in the Nintendo DS. Um, uh, he, he rode the great wave of success, which was the Nintendo DS and, of course, the Nintendo Wii. Um, those times were fantastic for him. Um, the Nintendo 3DS as well, it's doing alright. It was the Wii U, it was a little bit of a stumble, but still, I had confidence that he was going to bring it back. But, now he's resting in peace. Um, hopefully, the family can find solace. He has a legacy that will never be forgotten at Nintendo or at video gaming. And, um, yes, that's it. It's a, it's a hard day for Nintendo fans. It's a hard day for the company.